All right, this is how I use my 12 volt, 100 amp hour Rododo Mini. What I've done is hooked up a fuse, MBRF 60 amp fuse. And um, that is uh, seven AWG wire, which will flow 60 amp uh, over two feet. So that's uh, about a foot and a half right there. All right, and that is set up to go into my trolling motor so I can have a fuse for safety and just plug that in and out. And here's the trolling motor right here, Enduro 70, I think. So I can plug that right in in the boat. Then when I want to use this battery for camping, I have this uh, 25 amp 12 volt Victron charger, LFP charger, and I plug that into my power station, plug that into the battery right there. All right, when I want to use the battery to charge the power station, I made this dongle. That's the Pecron car charger. It has a XT90 plug coming from the cable from the alternator. So here I have a uh, XT90 going from here to here. Okay, that lets me plug the battery into here and feed that into my power station. And I can dump 600 watts out of this battery uh, into the power station. The power station will take 700, but 42 volts, 15 amps. About uh, 640, 650 watts. This XT90 has a 10 AWG dongle going into an SB50. 10 AWG is plenty to flow 15 amps, which is the uh, limit that I'm going to be using this for to feed my power station. Okay, this will hold 60 amps, which is what my fuse is, and that is the required size and fuse for that enduro uh, trolling motor. So everything is squared up for cable sizing and the fuse that protects it. The power station itself is internally fused to only allow 15 amps in. And so the uh, limit of this is well above 15 amps for a 10 AWG. So uh, that protects that.